Tonight we're working on this uh, mighty pull pump for the uh, cover. Uh, stopped. Uh, it was working intermittently on the switch. So uh, what I had to do is go around the perimeter on these screw holes and pull up these uh, Phillips screws. Once you do that, you can pop the uh, this cover off. And then uh, you know this is inside of the uh, the unit. That's what it looks like. It's got a uh, a float switch down here. When it goes up and down, it turns the pump on and off. Um, after that point, um, you can take out these uh, three screws that are around this triangle. You don't really have to do anything with this uh, screw in the top. And then you got to fill up, fill up side screws in there. So you, you pull this off. It's kind of on there snug. And then there's um, a ring on there with a rubber washer inside there here's the uh, the rubber seal keeps the inside of this box and or uh, dry then you take off this plastic cover pops right off um, let me get that out take that off and then um, there's this white little movable arm pop that out and then you can see there is a, a micro switch switch in here and uh, looks like the part number is XGM2-88Z1. So that's the switch that uh, goes bad. And then this is uh, over down here. There's a little clicky thing that goes in and out. Um, and that, that switch gets worn out. So it doesn't always want to turn on and turn off. Uh, when, when the float is up and down and things of that nature. So I'm going to order a new switch, pop it in, and uh, get this thing uh, in working condition again. But these pumps are pretty robust. Um, and uh, I think the last one I threw out, but uh, probably had a bad micro switch in that one too. So anyway, hopefully you find this uh, video helpful for a repair if you're up for it. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.